What is up, my chemical distraction distractionators? Today we are moving. We are relocating the lab to a new place. I'm going to be doing a bit of a lab tour today. We can look at the old lab and then uh, compare it to the new lab. So, you can see here we've got the uh, table of miscellaneous garbage, as any lab should have. And we've got the fume hood over here with evidence from failed reactions past. It's a sad sight to see. We've had uh, many trials and tribulations recently on the channel, trying to make things work. That's how chemistry is, I guess. Over here we've got the uh, some of the lab equipment. We've got a. Uh, open this up. We've got our beakers. We've got some chemicals. Uh, in the future, I will not be storing the chemicals on the top shelf. That is a recipe for disaster. And yeah. Now, the astute among you may realize that this is not an ordinary lab. Yes, it appears to be a garage, a messy garage. Yeah, I've, uh, we, I've been doing chemistry for the past few months in my mother's garage, and we're going to be relocating now to a new garage, which is even messier than this one. So yeah, we're going to be doing a little time lapse of me cleaning up all this stuff. So, yeah. All right, guys, we got all the lab stuff here. We're driving down to the lab. There's a bunch of chemicals in the back, so we want to be real careful not to hit anything. All right, we're here. We're at the new lab, and uh, prepare yourself because it's it's pretty great. Yeah, it's a bit of a fixer upper. We've got um, some offices back there, which is nice, but uh, yeah, out here it's you know not so good. Yeah, I just noticed we've got a hole in the roof right above the fuse box. Excellent. So in my uh, wishful thinking brain, I was sort of hoping we could have like a green screen over there. And we would over here have these back offices. We could do the recording lab stuff. Uh, oh, well this is, this is just great. <laughs> The ceiling seems to have caved in a bit. Um, I think there's holes in the roof where water leaked in. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of work on my hands. Oh yeah. That's all on the roof. Ugh. Hello there. All right, now that we got this hole in the roof repaired, we just gotta clean up all this mess. All right, we're back. We did a little bit of cleaning. You may notice that it's a little less cluttered in here. It only took, uh, you know, 20, 30 minutes. 20, 30 very caffeinated minutes. Over here we, uh, here's some stuff I found. I found this old 7-Up bottle in a mysterious purple potion. If, uh, if you guys want me to try said purple potion, leave a comment and leave a follow-up comment with what you think will happen if I drink the purple potion. Uh, the roof still has 
you know, a bit of a hole in it. I've got that light sitting precariously on those beams there. But yeah, that's, that's the next thing. We're gonna see if we can patch up that hole in the roof. So. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, let's be honest, it's, it's mostly just gentlemen, um, but you know, to the ladies who are still sticking around, thank you. Um, we've made some progress. You may notice that uh, the ceiling has uh, some drywall. It's no longer a hole, so that's nice. And uh, the walls look like absolute garbage, and they're full of holes, but, um, you know what, uh, it'll hold together for now. I'm getting impatient. So I'm going to bring in some of the lab stuff and we're gonna set that up. It's stuck. Oh! I got it! Come on, baby. That's how it's done. Here we are. This is um, near final. Obviously I'm going to continue to renovate this place as I go. I'm gonna work around all this stuff, but right now we got the cabinet, no chemicals in it yet. They're gonna go on the bottom, not on top, big no-no. Don't regret doing that. Um, or I might just get a separate cabinet for them to all together, really. Uh, fume hood right here, um, right next to the window. Blows all of the um, toxic, horrible chemicals out the window. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, yeah, we, we will not be blown. If we have anything particularly toxic, we will um, come up with something better than just blowing it out the window. Um, we've got this green screen right here, nicely set up. Um, then, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. It's a uh, great looking lab. <laughs> oh, this uh, this is a piece. Of, this is a mess. <laughs>
Okay. So I had some people interested in donating to the lab. I don't have like a P.O. box or anything like that to get equipment, unfortunately. I might open up one in the future. But for now, we got what we got. And if you guys want to, I'm opening up a GoFundMe. You are free to donate. It's not a subscription. You can just put in some money if you'd like. And any money that you donate goes to this lab exclusively and it will go to making future videos better. So, links in the description. If you guys have any ideas for what you want the money to be spent on, a certain equipment or a certain thing, then just let me know and I'll try and put the money towards that if possible. Now, unfortunately, I can't just like give you a high five for your donation. So, what I'm willing to do is if anybody donates, I will put your name at the end of some videos just to sort of say thanks. And thank you for watching.